<laughs> but anyways, you know, I got in a little trouble one time myself. No. Yeah, yeah. I had a I had a parking Seriously. Yeah, I did. I had a parking ticket. I'm not gonna talk about other shit. I'm okay. gonna talk about this parking ticket. Got a parking ticket downtown Wichita Falls. Forgot about it. Months went by. So now, and I guess they did one of them uh uh what they call a warrant roundup. Mm-hmm. You ever the Red River oh, Warrant yeah. Roundup or something? Yeah, they make it sound like it's some kind of festival. Everybody right. come on down. I mean, we're gonna serve cake. Right. Yeah. Well, back when I was with this ex old girl I was with, <laughs> I was sitting in my house one night, sitting in my recliner with a TV tray, and I was eating dinner. And uh, my front door was open, my, my glass door was shut, right? Right. And all of a sudden, this guy walks up there, gun on his hip, not a uniform, just a regular old dude, belt, buckle, and all that cowboy hat on, mm-hmm. knocking on my glass door. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I see you. <laughs> I'm sitting there, and I'm moving my tray and stuff. I go to the door, and I'm like, can I help you? <laughs> trying to have dinner. He's like, uh, I'm so and so with the sheriff's department over there. Uh, you have a warrant for your arrest. <laughs> I'm like, for real. <laughs> I apologize. I don't think apologizing helps at that moment. <laughs> Whatever I did, I did not mean to do it. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> he told me, you got a parking ticket. I'm supposed to arrest you. He said, but I am not going to arrest a man who's just got off of work and trying to have dinner. <laughs> He's like, can you call the office tomorrow and try to straighten out? I said, I absolutely will. Right. He gave me all the information, told me it was a parking ticket. I said, I ain't going to lie. I plumb forgot about it. He's like, no problems. Come in and make that, or I will have to arrest you on your next dinner. Right. <laughs> I was like, I appreciate that. Did he have a pen in his pocket? Probably. Uh, but you didn't see it? I didn't pay attention. Oh, okay. Well, I was just wondering if cops use those jail pens. <laughs> Tell that story. I'm going to tell that story. <laughs> well, I can't really tell that story without incriminating somebody that's in the room. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I, I had another issue a long, long, long time ago. What was it, like 37 years ago? No, it ain't been that damn long. But 20, It's 30 years ago. All right. I'm, I'm going to shorten this up for you. Smoke your cigarette. <laughs> enjoy yourself there. Is that damn fan on? Okay. Uh so, you know, Eddie had little troubles. We're not going to get into all that. Uh, they invited him to come stay with them for a little while. Summer camp. So, <laughs> right, summer camp. But so, you know, after a very polite invitation, he went and stayed with them for several months. <laughs> several, several months. <laughs> well, fast forward. <laughs> He's talking to my wife. <laughs> and she is talking about gel pens, you know. You can go to the dollar store, the Walmart, Walgreens, wherever, and buy them, and that's what they're called, gel pens, G-E-L, pens. <laughs> Eddie is, gets this all is not off. A moment for me. <laughs> he here gets all off beside himself. <laughs> oh, no, hell no. That is not a gel pen. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila tries to tell him, yes, that is a gel pen. No, he is adamant. No, that is not what they use in jail. I have been in jail, and that is not the pins that they use. 